Welcome to Sports School. I'm Mark Verstegen, and I'm joined today by Anita Nall Richardson, and we're ready to jump right into this workout. You ready to go? Ready. Good. Can be able to do this all right here. I'm going to start off right on the pad, and we're going to start off with a quadruped opposite. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock in our abs. We're going to be able to take that elbow. We're going to touch it right in, and then we're going to reach right out, firing my glute and my shoulder blade. Again, reach in and reach right out. Again, moving from my shoulder blade, moving from my abs. We're trying to keep a stable core. We're going to do six reps with the right leg, then six reps with the left leg. So now let's hop right down there. This is going to help develop some muscles in your core, also develop your glutes, your shoulder blades, and then help all the little muscles going up your spine. Okay, so lock in. We're going to do six reps. We're going to go with the left arm and the right leg first. Okay, here we go. And good. Great job, Anita. Again, we're focusing all the movement coming from this segment of your body. So your shoulder blade is pulling back, your glute is firing to lift your leg, you're really stabilizing the core right in through here. Good. Last two. Reach. Come on, stay locked in, people. Stay locked in and rest. Okay, and switch. Tummy's going to be tight. Good. Firing glute. Bring it in. Five more. Good. Firing glute. Four more. Stay locked in the abs. Staying focused right to the center of your body, right here, and reach long. Good. Stay stabilized right through your core. Last two reps. Real stable. And rest. Great job, Anita. Where'd you feel that? Belly once again, keeping that tight and a little bit in my glutes also. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Executed perfectly. If you can try to match exactly what Anita's doing, that's perfect. Okay, if you need to take a rest, go ahead and hit pause and come right back to us. We're going to go on next with a leg lowering, which is going to help develop the muscles in your inner thigh and some of your abdominals. So the first time we're going to do this, we're going to go through and you know what we call both legs. So we're going to come all the way back. We're going to lock in your abs. We're going to take your arms out wide to stabilize. We're going to take both legs up here. We're going to keep the legs straight, tummy's tight. We're just going to let the legs come out small, bring them back together. Bring them out a little wider and bring them together. And again, stay at your own comfort. We'll gradually take them out wider. And ultimately, it's going to add into a stretch. We'll come back up. So we're going to start that. We're going to go for six repetitions. Take it at your own range of motion. OK, here we go. Again, this is going to develop some of your core stability here and work the muscles of your inner legs in through here. So tummy's tight. I want your arms wide. OK, toes are right up towards your shin. And take it out small and back up. Five reps left if you want a little bigger. Good. And four. A little wider, good. I need to really lock in these abs here. Good. We'll go for three more. Good. Big reach. Lock in from the abs. Good. Two more. Lock in from the abs. Squeeze the legs together. Last one. Tummy's tight. Bring it in and rest. Great job, Anita. Where'd you feel that most? Definitely in my groin. And in uh, yeah, inner thigh. Perfect. And that's right where you should feel. It's going to be a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a strengthening. Okay. The next one's going to be a little bit of the uh, dead bug. And we call it like that. It's a core stability exercise. And what we'll do is we'll hop right on our back. We're going to keep both legs bent up. The hands are going to be right here placed on my tummy. And I want to make sure that I can pull my belly button right into my spine. And it's going to stay there the whole time. So don't ever let your tummy stick out. Pull it in as much as you can. And what we're going to do is we're just going to reach out with my left arm. It's almost opposite of the other one we just did. Except now I'm just on my back versus on all fours. Does that make sense? Yes. So same thing as we did face down. We're just going to do it face up. And this is going to develop the muscles of your abdominals, your hip flexors, and work on this diagonal pattern in your body. OK. Body straight. OK, before we lift your knees, go ahead and sit your knees right down. OK, I'm going to have you take your hands, put them right on your belly button, OK? And suck in, as, get as skinny as you can. Hold that there. Now let's lift the legs. OK, here we go. Let's lift up your, that's it, left arm, right leg. Keep that belly button in. Keep the belly button <laughs> in and reach. It's perfect. Take a little time to get it. Five left on each side. Now, I want to make sure the whole grade on this exercise is can I keep that belly button in as I do these activities? Good. Don't let it stick out. That's why that hand's there, just to sense whether it's going up or down. It's your own feedback. Good. And reach. Great job, Anita. Anita's doing a great job of reaching long. Perfect. OK, we have two reps left. Long reach, tummy's tight. This is that cross crawl motion, which is so good for your body. That's how we're meant to move. And if you question that, go watch your baby. Well done. Great set. 
That's our dead bug. Now we're gonna do is a unique lift. It's what we call chopping. It's another way that our body performs well as we do it in diagonal patterns. If you think about watching most movements in life, you'll see a lot of twisting and bending. That's how our body's meant to work. If you go to a traditional gym, you'll only see people doing things in one plane. So this is a complementary activity that we can do, and you'll see more and more in the upcoming years. We're gonna take something as simple as your phone book. We're gonna keep really good posture. We're gonna just keep this stability. We're gonna reach down, bring it to your chest, turn and press up, bring it down, reach it to the floor, bring it up and press. And the whole time I'm trying to keep really good posture, reaching down, up and through. All right, and that's what we're gonna focus on. If you need something a little heavier, you can grab like a milk container, whatever you need to do, or you can grab one of your dumbbells that are around the house. Okay, then let's give that a shot. Six on each side. Okay, let's go ahead and just kneel forward. Left leg is gonna be forward for us at first. Both hands on it. We're gonna reach down toward your right knee, holding great posture, and then just rotate and push that book right up here. Good, and go again. Good, there we go, turn. And again, this is gonna work the muscles of all your torso rotators. The muscles of your upper back is gonna pull, almost like an upright row, and then press, good, like an incline press. At the same time, you're stabilizing through your core. We have two reps left, up. You may not feel a whole lot until you gradually progress up in weight. Good, but it's an excellent activity. Let's switch. Anita's doing a great job, again, locking in posture. This hip is forward. She's really locked in well there. So now we've stabilized the body. Good, Anita. Now the stronger you get, challenge yourself. Grab two phone books, or grab a heavier and heavier dumbbell, or just a small weight plate around, whatever you need to. Good. Let's finish up. Last rep. Great job, you guys. Well done. Okay, now we're gonna take this book and we're gonna use it for a similar activity and a little bit of a twisting action. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep your feet off the ground, and if anything, I want you to take your heels and push them like that as I lean back, and that'll help minimize some of your hip flexors. We're just gonna lean back, I'm gonna turn my shoulders to the right, bring it back up, trying to hold perfect posture, turn to the left, bring it back. Next time, slightly greater range of motion. Over and back is one, we're gonna shoot for six reps. So what we call a seated Russian twist, gonna help on our core, and work on that rotational ability to help protect your body and get you prepared for the rest of sports school. All right, Anita. Six reps. Okay, tummy's gonna be tight. Set that good posture. She's locked in her abs. Arms are straight. Okay, and we're just gonna turn that like a turret. Feel that in your abs? Good. Now what this is doing is Anita's hips are fixed on the ground, and now, good, five more on each side. She's really doing a great job at turning her shoulders. You can see her shoulders turning all the way here, coming back, turning all the way the other way. It's exactly what we want. Three more. Good. Now if you can only get two or three at a time, that's fine. Catch a rest and we'll go again. And early on, your hands may be just enough. Great job, Mia. Good, last one. Excellent, and rest. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna finish off this workout by going through with your pillar bridge. Okay. I'm just gonna start you off right kneeling just like this. Keep those knees right back behind us, a straight line between our knee, our hip, and our shoulder again, and keep looking for those. Tummy's gonna be drawn in. We're just gonna bridge up as high as we can, keeping a straight line on the bottom of my body and a straight line to the top of my body. And we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Now, if you think you can do more than 10 seconds, here's what you can do. You get up, you hit pause right toward the end of our set here, and you hold it as long as you can, then take us off pause and we'll go to the next set. Tummy's gonna be tight, good. And 10, nine, eight, seven, stay locked in, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Switch sides, great job. Thanks, Mark. This is gonna kinda tie it all in together here. Tummy's tight, and up, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Great job, Anita. Thanks. You feel a little bit of that stuff in your abs? Oh yeah. Good. That's quite a workout for in there. Your heart rate may be getting up. If you need to hit the pause button, go ahead. But this is a great strengthening workout. And I'll tell you what, if your body is like a wheel, okay, this is the hub of the wheel. If the hub works really well, 
The rest of your spokes are gonna work great too. And that's really what we wanna have here at Sports School. So what we're gonna do now, if that's enough of a workout, did a great job today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab some water, towel off a little bit, and we're gonna take the circuit back from the top and do it one more time. Okay, Anita, let's go ahead and go. We're gonna do our quadruped opposites. Good. Now notice in the second circuit, it's exactly the same exercise we did with Anita, just on our back. We're back this way and we're just working the other side. So tummy's tight, six reps, starting up and reaching out. Good, firing glute and shoulder blades. That's all right. Great job, Anita. Good, working the muscles are coming from this hips to the bottom of her or the top of her shoulders. Perfect. Shoulder blades sliding back, glutes firing up, working this diagonal pattern across your body and rest. Let's switch sides. Tummy's tight. You know the exercise now, just master it through. Make every rep as great as your best rep last set. Good, tummy's tight. Last two reps. One. Great job, Anita. Anita's doing a great job of reaching long and rest. Well done, much better than the first. Yeah. Okay, every time there's gonna be a learning environment, if you can improve the coordination of your body, a lot of times that's enough alone and that can happen just like that. Okay, the next one we're gonna go is a leg lowering. We're gonna change this up just a little bit. Anita's gonna come all the way back. She's gonna put both first, both hands on a belly button right here. Make sure that stays in and skinny. Both legs will come up. Good, and now all we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you one demonstration rep. You're gonna just drop your right leg out, small range of motion and come up. And this will help a little rotational stability, then we'll drop the left side. Good, and here we go, six reps. Good, that's it, one. One, really lock in that core. You're gonna have to work the core and really hold that leg up. Good, two. Two, great job, Anita. Three, three. Now, if this is too advanced for you, just go right back to the one we did on the first one. That's the way. Great, we have two reps left if you can hang. Right in, great exercise, stretching the inside of your thigh and working it. Last one coming up. That's the way, finish that left leg. Hold in those abs and rest. Great job, Anita. Thanks. Great job, where'd you feel that? Still a good stretch right in here, and then also keeping the belly and abs. Was it tougher this time? Yes. Yeah, a lot tougher this time. It's tougher to put your arms here than here, too. So exactly. if you could do maybe this, keeping your arms out would help. You as do long as you can do that, Nita said, if you want to keep your arms out a little wider, it might make it a little bit easier. Just remember, you've got to be able to keep that belly button in. And if it goes out too hard, just stop, shut it down, rest, and we'll come back at it again. OK, next one we need to do is our kneeling lift. So let me grab our phone book. And we'll put that left leg forward. Good. Take that right down, put that leg up. Give those abdominals a rest for a minute. <laughs> okay, gonna reach down on that left side. Tummy's tight, we're gonna bring it up and push. Good, good shoulder turn. Down, up, and push. That's the way. Perfect. Perfect, good. That's it, one more time. And we'll switch legs, okay. The integration, adding rotation and stability all the way throughout, in, up, and turn, perfect. Now notice the knee is doing such a great job of stabilizing all the way through her torso. Four more, that's the way, good. Three, two, and last one. Good job, well done. Okay, now I'm gonna have you hop right on your back again. Now we're gonna come back and we're gonna do dead bugs. So we're gonna hop on our back. Now those abs have had a little chance to rest. So we pushed it and dialed it up a little bit. So again, we're gonna lock in the abs. Put the hands right here on your belly button. And we're gonna, again, we're gonna take now both legs up, keep the abs in. We're gonna reach this knee with this arm long as you can keep that belly button in. That range of motion may be really short, but it's gonna be long enough for you as long as you can keep that core in tight. Good. That's it, two, two, three. Really doing a great job of reaching long. Three, great job, Anita. And four, four, really locking those abs now. Keep it in there. You're almost there. End of the circuit, five, five, stick with it. And six, good job, keep the belly button in. Last one, and rest. Great job, Anita, well done. Okay, that one, now our abs are starting to get really fatigued. Now we're gonna try to finish this one off with your seated Russian twist. So let's pull up and in, 
locking those abs one more time. We're gonna use a phone book for our second set. If you're really fatigued, just leave it out. Okay, over and back as one, six more reps, locking those abs, good. Good turn, excellent job, Anita. Good, good turn. Now you're gonna notice your hips almost shift a little bit as you keep those abs drawn in, that's okay. What's happening is that your body is having to go up along the back of your spine and in the front to help stabilize it when you rotate like that. And all that stuff is hooked into your pelvis, getting that good stability throughout the spine. You might shift the pelvis and rest. Great job, Anita. Thanks, Mark. Okay, we're almost there. We only have one set of exercises left. That's our pillar bridge. So let's go ahead and get on our side. Let's tuck our knees right up to the side. There we go. Now, if you're feeling more advanced, we can go with the legs straight. Anita, just show us a rep here of lifting up, and then we can drop back down, and we can do this for your six reps. All right? So let's go ahead and let's try to count that down if we can get this one. If not, go right back to our first position where the legs were bent and just coming up and bridging for 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go with the straight and up. One, good. Up, two, really stay drawn in now. Push and down, up, three, three more left now. Come on, up, four, straight line, shoulders back, good. Last two, up, five, last one coming up, up. Six, and rest. Great job, let's switch sides. We're almost there, you guys. You're six reps or 10 seconds away, depending upon what you choose to do here. All right, tummy's tight, good. Up and down. Up, good, two good reps. If you think you're getting in pretty good shape, pause the longer up top, and that'll be good. Three, halfway there, Anita, you're three reps away from finishing a great workout. And up, four, that's a way to stay drawn in. Good, last two, come on now, up. That's it, last one, and up, and rest. Anita, great job. Thanks, Feel like you've had a good workout? Oh yeah. Good. We really focused a lot on the core today, doing more rotational stability, and we hopefully got, gave you a great workout to finish up your sports school experience. Anita, thanks so much. It's great being here. We'll see you next time in sports school.